You're still watching Ways. Now, it's World Food Safety Day. Food and safety is highly important for our livelihood. Thus, in order to achieve um, the SDG 2020 goal, we need to take care of food safety, to be aware of the harmful consequences of contaminated food and water. This day is celebrated. The day also aims to celebrate food safety um, so as to eradicate diseases like food poisoning and jaundice. So ladies. World Food Safety Day. Well, Food Safety Day. I um, mean, yeah. How, how, <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to food, how do you, um, do you think we're playing safe enough? In Nigeria? Yeah. Of course not. Yeah, it's, it's like. What was that? There was that new story that was going around about places how. Where people cook, you know, and the, the, the safety measures they carry out. Cook is even okay. I'm even talking from the production line and how, and okay. even at the market and what they do to keep your food and to preserve food. And you just wonder. There was a story about a couple of months ago about sniper and all those things. Mm. You used to keep the preserve beans and, to preserve and all beans. of that. And you know, it's just scary because this is when you're supposed to, you're supposedly eating organic and it's supposed to be, you know, the healthier way, but even the organic versions yeah. are no longer safe because people are trying to cut corners. Yeah. So but honestly, this is, this is my view on it. And I know, I know a lot of people might not agree with me, but I often wonder, so you use all these preservatives, right? But then remember when you're cooking stuff like beans and mm -hmm. rice, you mm -hmm. parboil it. You wash first and then you parboil it and then you wash again. So I've been taught in school that like nothing survives 100 degrees. So, so like, chemicals though, chemicals, right? Okay, no, well, chemicals is, is different. Do you understand? I don't really understand <laughs> dynamics. I'm sorry, I'm an art student. So when it's chemicals, it's a different ballgame entirely. Yeah. So yeah. it's no longer something, which yeah. is why it's very... I think so. Right. With, with some true. chemicals, when you cook it, it becomes much more lethal. Potent, yeah, yeah, exactly. it becomes more, yeah, it becomes more potent. Wow, I yeah. need to read up on that. You wow. have to. <laughs> so, oh, right, in so, God's hands, ultimately. Yeah, but God also gave us the power to be able to yeah, take but... certain decisions Don't to save our ourselves. lives. But when yes. you don't even know that that's what's been done, how do you, what do you do? Well, you start to grow your own beans and everything like it's everybody crazy. has. But a lot of people are doing, are doing that, that now. Yeah, but how? You're how having many? your home garden, at uh -huh. least your yeah, vegetables. Yeah, assuming that I live in a place where I can have my own uh, people. You know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Sansi, what did you find for us in the news today? Okay, so um, as we know, corona cases are still on the increase in Lagos, sadly, but um, death rate is not... Still very low. Yeah, it's very low, and we're very grateful to that. However, there is another set of people that I think we've not put into consideration lately, and those are uh, uh, patients, people who are sick, particularly... Uh, this cancer patient told me what his parents have been crying out that they've been scheduled for surgery sometime in May But then the problem is they can't have the surgery because uh, The hospitals are filled up every doctor is busy up handling up COVID patients You know so the the surgery was scheduled for sometime May in uh, uh, University teaching hospital, but so far oh, they haven't the given them any, right. any 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 attention you know, and then the money they saved up for the surgery, they isn't need to get drugs. To, to keep him alive. Yeah, to keep him to alive. All right, I think we'll just go on a quick break. We'll be right back to continue the conversation. Please stay with us.